Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's January 25th, 2023. 2024, holy crap. It's hard to believe. This morning, while I was taking a shower, I was actually thinking about the American dream. What is the American dream? And... I'm curious what your guys' take on it. If you think about the American dream, what does it mean? Is the American dream home ownership? Is it to have a family? Is it freedom of time? What is the American dream? I think my opinion is the American dream is ours to choose. The American dream is held. Morning. Morning. The American dream is held in each and every one of our hearts. It is ours to decide what the American dream is. And as many Americans are alive, that's how many American dreams there are. The American dream is not one thing. The American dream is us. It's whatever our dream happens to be. Now, it's your choice what you do with it. But at least that's my opinion. I think the American dream is whatever you want the American dream to be. For me, it's the ability to live the life I want to live while making the impact that I want to make for my kids over the entirety of my life. Not over this week, not over this month, but until I die. That's my American dream. It's leaving the world a better place for my kids. I am it. I wish people understood how incredibly selfish I am. Because at the end of the day, I just want to live the life I want to live. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter how much you own, land you own, businesses you own. All of that is irrelevant if you are not living the life that you desire to live. One of, I've got a couple sayings that I try to live by. Morning. One of my favorite sayings is just because I live this way today does not mean I will live this way tomorrow. And that's part of the American dream, is you control how you live. You control how you show up. You control what happens with your time. You are the sole owner of time. You will never own more time than you already own. You can rent other people's time, but you can't buy it. You can't steal their time to extend your own. And so if your entire goal, my belief is if your entire goal is around wealth creation and building up net worth, good for you. But why? To what end? For what purpose? What don't you have that you think you need? This is why I believe Elon Musk is the richest person in the world and will be far richer than he is over the next decades because he does not care at all about the financial aspect. What Elon Musk cares about is humanity. It's the impact. Look at what he's created. So I talk about 
the real and the virtual world, one of the reasons I would like, or one of the reasons I will have a Tesla in the future is for safety and for my belief in freedom. I trust Elon Musk to do what's best for humanity. And he is in control of SpaceX, which SpaceX allows connectivity throughout the entire world. So if the government decides, hey, we're going to shut this down, SpaceX owns the assets and controls the assets. Spa Elon Musk is also in control of X. X, I believe, is the most important platform for the freedom of speech in existence. It is my primary platform. I very rarely go on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, any of those platforms. I use them as a tool to share my message. So this video, you'll see on all those platforms. My goal in doing that is to spread the message that, hey, we need to collect everyone. My hope is everyone creates their own X account and everyone starts sharing their opinions about the future and about the country and about where we're going. X will be the community, the town square of America in the coming years. Will it be forever? Probably not. But right now it is. So Elon Musk is in control of SpaceX, which allows connectivity through the internet and all that stuff. He's in control of X, which is the town square for the freedom of speech. And he's got control of Tesla, which is building vehicles that are interconnected through the internet and everything. And he's built this ecosystem that feeds itself. Morning. And so that's one of the things I think. Nice. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, Penny. And that's one of the reasons why I've designed America's Holding Company with eight board seats. One of those seats is designed for Elon Musk. If he ever becomes a client, I will give him 2% of the Class A shares, a seat at the board of the directors, and let him guide me on how to be a better participant and supporter of his infrastructure. The whole goal behind all of this is to be a supporting role. It is to be part of the team. It is not to lead the team. I believe that's part of the American dream. At the end of the day, we all need each other throughout time. No one can do this alone. So. The kids growing up right now, we need to take care of them as a society because in 20, 30 years, they are the workforce, they are the leaders, they are what are going to make our society function. The most important people to take care of, and this is, I think, something Social Security missed the first time in 1933, is how do we take care of the families? How do we take care of the people who are just getting out of college? They're struggling to get by. They can barely afford to take care of themselves, let alone have kids. 
if we don't solve this problem, we are in for a world of hurt. So that's why I think we need to look at how can we support each other better? Not because we have to, but because we want to. So that's the reason I've decided HR is where I want to invest my time. I'm head of HR for Kitech. And some of the things, I, I've, I'm very proud of the impact I've made so far. Some of the things I've been able to accomplish is we moved to a weekly pay schedule. So instead of bi-weekly, everybody gets paid weekly. What that does is it increases the cash flow for every W-2 employee at Kitech. It is a huge benefit to our people to increase their cash flow. It lets them manage their money throughout time better because they're getting an infusion of cash quicker. I believe we are going into a depression that will be far worse than the Great Depression. I believe the financial system is about to collapse all around us. And right now, we as business owners, we as leaders in the entrepreneurial community need to step up and realize we are in an economic war. And we're fighting against time. There is no one enemy. No one's, this is the f thing I think is funny about politics. Everybody is, oh, they're doing it wrong. They're doing it wrong. Every, I believe everybody wants what's best for America. But what we don't agree on is how to get there. We need to figure out how do we get there. So one of the things, if you are a business owner or entrepreneur, I'm encouraging you to look at, could you move your payroll to weekly? It will be harder as a business because it requires you to have better cash flow, but it will greatly impact your employees' livelihood. And the goal is to create a system that employees know they're being taken care of. So that, that's one initiative that I've already accomplished at Kitech. Another initiative, if you own a business, you should be looking at an ESOP. You don't have to sell 100% of your business to an ESOP, but you could, let's say you put 30% of the business into an ESOP for every W-2 employee to get ownership of, you still maintain control of the business. All you're doing is sharing some of the financial benefits of being a part of a business with the assets that help you make the business run. It is your choice. You are a leader in America. You are responsible for feeding people. It is your choice how you do it. So that's one thing we're working on at Kitech is putting in an ESOP for our people to take care of them better. At the end of the day, we are all in this together. And that's why I do what I do is to take care of my people. And so right now we are hiring at Kitech. If you would like to be part of my team, our team that is out there looking to make an impact, feel free to reach out. I'm looking for mechanical engineers. We need some mechanics, te shop technicians. I've got a posting for some controls engineers. You have skills in robotics and conveyors and welding. We're looking for all those roles. We're looking for people who want to be a part of our team. They see what we're doing to make the world a better place. And they know they have options, but they choose to invest their time with us because of the environment. 
because we're out here trying to feed America. That's why I love working at Kitech. We focus on the food and beverage industry. And we literally help companies feed America. We create automation systems and processes for them. It's fun, it's cool. I think it's cool, but I'm nerdy like that. And it's part of how I feel like I'm helping us prepare for the war that is coming. I don't know what you believe or don't believe, but I don't see how a war can be avoided with the way the global and domestic environments look currently. So this is how we prepare. We've got to start increasing production. We've got to increase our manufacturing capabilities here in the US. If we do not increase our production, we are going to fall be further and further behind and it's not gonna be good. And so where we're at, I believe where we're at as a society is we need to get very serious about what it means to be an American. We need to drop the Democrat Republican titles. We need to get rid of all that crap and look at how do we as a society take care of each other? How do we make it through these wars and this depression that is coming? How do we do it? At the end of the day, we do it through helping each other, through picking each other up and walking with each other and saying, you know what? I've got enough right now. Here, have some of my food. I've got enough today. Here, have some of my money. 